Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I am working on replacing some old brushed motors with some updated brushless motors. Uh, right away you can see there's a big difference uh, between these two just in terms of uh, size and weight. Uh, this old brushed motor probably weighs three times as much as this brushless motor down here. But this thing is, uh, it's about 50 years old. In the 1970s, General Electric made electric lawn and garden tractors. They were 36 volts, uh, basically just like a old fashioned electric golf cart. Um, but the thing is, it's getting hard to find parts for these. And frankly, it'd be nice to have something a little bit more modern and efficient. And what I found is there's a lot of these push electric mowers around nowadays. This is one that I got for very cheap. I took it apart, I pulled out the motor and the motor controller for it. So a push mower like that, or one like this Ryobi, Ryobi, Royboy uh, push mower we have right down here that I converted to a remote control one. They all use a motor uh, similar to this. Uh, it's very small, not a lot to it. It's got a shaft that spins and then it's got three wires that come off of that. Uh, now to make that work though, it does need a separate dedicated uh, control module. And of course that's already in the lawnmower. So I salvaged these two brushless motors and these two brushless motor controllers uh, from uh, just some inexpensive used push mowers. And I've put them into this 50 year old mower deck. Now, you'll notice on the brushed motor, it's about uh, four inches across, maybe four and a half. And then it has this flange here. Uh, this motor is uh, four inches in diameter and it'll pretty much fall through that hole. And what I did is I just took the measurements of, you know, the, the flange points on here and the hole to match it up with this. And I just 3D printed a part to basically take one of these old motors and make it work just like this. So then the whole thing can essentially just drop down into the hole and bolt into place. Uh, the main thing was using flathead screws and making an adapter thick enough uh, to take care of that, uh, that bevel, that triangular hole that it fits into. So this bottom part is smooth and flat and then it'll just mount flush right down into here. Uh, the other thing is, this is a 36 inch wide mower deck. Um, the blade with the one motor, uh, this is a 20 inch mower right here. And uh, 20, 20 inch minus, minus 36, 16. But what this really should have done was had two 18 inch blades. Uh, so to go with this other motor I had, I ordered an 18 inch blade. So here's a new 18 inch blade. And there's a very old 20 inch blade. And fortunately, they just exactly miss each other in the middle. It's, it's pretty perfect that way. So, um, I've got both motor controllers hooked up to power as a Ryobi 40 volt battery. And that's in some ways a little bit misleading nomenclature because basically it's a 36 volt battery system. 40 volts is more like the fully charged voltage. But I've got this and some matching parts makes it really handy. So I'm gonna run uh, both motors here off of that. But for this deck, since that mower is 36 volts, I could just run the, that power to uh, a connector to the PTO switch in that deck and have it run just fine. So let's get these off of here. The one thing I'll say as a downside to the uh, the brushless stuff is it's sort of a lot more wires. So I think when I'm all done, I'm gonna put maybe a, a piece of wood or plastic or something here. And I think maybe mount these upside down under it. Uh, that way it'll look nice and clean. It'll be out of the way. Um, and I have checked that these particular controllers do not have a tilt switch in them. Uh, sometimes the ones used for lawnmowers do. So if your lawnmower flipped over, it automatically turns off. I tested these ones do not. Now these also, besides the power wiring here, have some of these little low voltage wires coming off. And that was for uh, some safety switches and then also turning on the motor. So they went to the uh, the handle, including to a 
uh, a push to start button and then where you have to hold down the bale to keep the motor going. So I replaced the one uh, for the bale instead of a momentary on switch to just a plain on off switch. So in theory, if I can hold the one switch, flip this switch and film this all at the same time, we're gonna see both these motors down here spin up. So let's see if I can do this all one-handed. Another thing that's kind of nice is those blades come to a pretty quick stop so that's always good for safety as well so as it is I took a couple of old lawnmowers uh, did a little bit of a custom 3d design work 3d printing and now I have a 36 inch brushless lawnmower cutting deck